Cindered shadows, what lies beneath? Huh. <laughs> Professor? Oh, hello, Professor. Have you seen this library of theirs? It's completely different from the one in the monastery, and their collection is amazing. There are forgeries and banned books, legends, spells, and heresies. Doubt I'll catch a single wink tonight. Listen up. I've got something to report. It's about you outsiders. Actually, yes, I shouldn't bother reporting you to yourself. The Ashen Wolves may seem tough, but they're harmless. Honestly, things can get pretty boring down here. But here's a little piece of wisdom from me to you. Boredom's a luxury. Trust me, I know these things. Hey, uh. You're quite a strapping fellow. But even your looks don't compete with the likes of Yuri. Don't let that pretty face of his fool you, though. He's a rogue, through and through. Even so, the people of Abyss trust him. He may be a scoundrel, but he's our scoundrel. Mm. Want a drink? Yeah, of course you don't. It's all terrible down here. Nobody important enough to carry the good stuff wants to come underground to sell it to us. It's a shame. Just once I'd like to taste something worthy of a noble. I wanted to be just like him when I grew up, and he said I shouldn't ever say stuff like that. So I told Balthus I didn't want to be like him when I grew up, and he said I'd grow up boring. What do they want me to say? What's all the commotion about? Hey, hang on. I've never seen you before. You a first-timer? Word of advice. Watch your back. The only folks who hang around down here are the ones too shady to walk in the goddess's light. Hiya, Professor. Allow me to introduce you to my brother's best friend. You can call him Balti. Actually, it's Balthus. You've probably heard of me. In the Alliance, I'm known as, uh... How should I put it? Right answer! This guy's notorious for picking fights and shirking debts. He's got a whole army of bounty hunters chasing after him. I may not look it, but I was once a noble from a minor house. Life's full of twists and turns. I know you, Balti. I'm pretty sure you got yourself into this mess.
It looks like this is where the people of Abyss leave their unwanted belongings. I didn't expect to find much, but there's actually plenty of gear we could salvage. I'm told we can take anything we can use, so it might be good to check on it now and again. Don't seem all that special. But you're certainly mysterious, wielding that hero's relic. Yeah, I've heard all about you. But I never figured I'd see you down here, chasing after someone and getting lost in the process. The classroom for the Ashen Wolf House. Just so we're clear, we're not affiliated with the Officers Academy. Since we're not part of the Academy, it's really just in place for us. Can't go to the surface either. We've all got our reasons. We're a unique bunch from all walks of life. Once you get to know us, I'm sure you'll love it here. Hey, new person. Want my advice? Don't wander too far off the beaten path. Abyssians like their privacy. If you go snooping around, there's bound to be trouble. Wait, did I introduce myself? My name's Happy. Might you possibly be the Imperial Princess herself? I am. And you are Constance of House Nouvelle. I recall hearing of your disappearance. I never would have imagined you'd end up in a place like this. Your presence is equally curious. What business could you have here? Don't tell me it was idle curiosity. As I believe you were well aware, we were chasing after a suspicious individual. entire town was hiding beneath the monastery and a secret fourth house to boot secrets upon secrets so oh, I'm just itching to know them all I'm sure Rhea knows all about this place God, how many secrets does that lady have what do you think professor this is a most unique town is it not incredible really that those who face depression on the surface are able to find sanctuary here oh not to say that there's no helping the situation in Fodlan. To do just that is our duty and our honor. Even so, I find the idea rather lovely. What? Find someone else to bother. Whatever the heck you're selling, I'm not buying. Not a trader, huh? Sorry, my mistake. Most folks chatting down here are just pawning off stolen goods. From the surface, aren't you? I bet you're real bad. My mom says surface people are the worst. Okay. A 
This is where I offer my prayers to my gods. It is the only place. The goddess of Fodlin is not one of my gods. But the statue here is not one of my gods either. I offer my prayers here all the same, because Abyss is where it is allowed. We're all done here, boss. Oh, but more importantly, about your... We'll discuss that another time. For now, tend to your mission. Don't worry, no one will die. We'll get everyone out safely. Hmm. Once the trap is set, shift your focus to protecting the Abyssians. Just in case things go south. Oh, it's you. I was just heading off to ambush our attackers. You'll help with that, won't you? Oh, does that mean your enemies are drawing near? Very good. <laughs> the scouts I sent to the surface spotted some mercenaries. We closed off the entrance they used last, but it seems they've already found another. This is bad. We've got to evacuate everyone from Abyss as quickly as possible. That won't be necessary. They'll be back soon. Huh? Who? Why do I have to go? No matter what we do, we're all just gonna die in the end anyway. Sure. But if we do nothing, we'll die a lot sooner. I assume the corridor is successfully camouflaged? But of course! Our decoys shall prevent those scoundrels from chancing upon our living quarters. Do note that I am the bait upon your hook. If we fail, I shall be left dangling in the wind. <laughs> but it must be done, I fear. And so, I will most happily accept the starring role in this! They're at the entrance. They'll be coming in from the east. The east? <laughs> Good. We're well placed. Go ahead and draw them deeper into Abyss, just like we planned. I'd like to know that myself. But first things first. We've got to make it through this encounter. Launching small counterattacks on the surface won't accomplish anything. It could also earn us the scorn of the church, if it gets messy. Which it will. That's why we have to lure the enemy underground before we take them out. I know the perfect spot. Admit it, pals. You're knee-deep in this, just like us. There's no turning back now, right? Of course not! If there's any way we can help your cause, we won't turn our backs on you. That's right. We will not stand idly by while danger befalls the innocent people of Abyss. If we can capture the enemy, we can perhaps learn the reason behind their relentless attacks. Excited, are you? Fine. We could use more bodies to throw at our enemies. Thanks for volunteering. So long as they're fighting with us and not against us, I don't care how excited they are. Let's get to it! Wow. An underground arena, huh? You sure know some great spots, Yuri. I heard about this place from someone back in town. It hasn't been in use for a long time. I figured it could prove useful. So I spent some time clearing out the debris that was blocking the entrance. It seems to be a revitalized ruin. Perhaps it was originally a reception hall or something similar. Perhaps. Honestly, all of Abyss feels like a ruin. <laughs> this place is magnificent! It is just spacious enough to contain my glory! I shall not hold back here! Large? Isolated? I wonder if it would be okay for me to sigh here. If happy sighs, monsters come running. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not sure what you could possibly mean by that. I wish, Happy, but no. Absolutely no sign. And Constance, be glorious in moderation. Understood? This place is so big that if it collapses, all of Abyss will fall with it. The whole reason we're luring our enemies here is to avoid damaging Abyss. Don't lose sight of that. <laughs> I am well aware of our aim. Sure, but that doesn't mean we can trust you to show restraint. You as well? I cannot fathom why I am being treated in such a way. 
It is the duty of the nobility to preserve the people's safety. Do you truly believe that I would destroy Abyss in my efforts to save it? Preposterous! That would cause trouble for Elfie too. If the underground collapses, he's the one who will have to answer for it. You must know Elfric, yeah? He's a bigwig in the church, but a friend of Abyss. He's the one who opened up this place to folks with nowhere else to turn. Looks like us. He gave us a home, a new life. It is Elfric himself who put forth the idea of establishing the Ashen Wolf House. Sadly, he faces opposition within the church, and so he cannot openly deploy the knights to aid us. That means Elfric relies upon us to protect the people who live here. Us, and now you. I hope you're ready, Professor. We're counting on you. You are a professor at the Officer's Academy, are you not? You may not be our instructor, but I cannot think of a more fitting title to call you. Seems like you're with us now. We'll owe you one. Time to knock some sense into their thick skulls. They picked the wrong strangers to mess with. I must grow into this new role. Shady kids was a bad idea. This place is massive. <laughs> they actually fell for it. Let's get this done. Other mercenaries are on their way. We left a nice little trail of crumbs for them to follow. <laughs> we'll need to take them all out or they'll just keep coming. Let's pull it together.
I will prevail. I'll give it my all. I'll cut through. Over already. Who, me? Ready and willing. Stay focused. It'll be a shame to mar this pretty arena with a bunch of fresh corpses, but here goes! It's so easy to escape from the darkest depths of Garrick Mach.
Each battle a chance to grow. Never underestimate an outsider. Life doesn't always go as planned. Think this through. Use caution. Who's next? I must keep aiming higher. Be careful who you choose to follow. <laughs> I suppose it's too late for that now, isn't it? The fight continues. <laughs> Sorry. You're a real pain in the neck, you know that?
I will prevail. <laughs> now you know your limits. Ready and willing. Should I have held back? This can't be the place, can it? More visitors already? Allow us to offer you a premature burial. Damn brats, out of the way! Out of luck. Didn't even enjoy it. Starting to see results.
have my support. Time is now. Stay focused. We're at your side. It's time. Who, me? Sorry, did I hurt you? I'll cut through. <laughs> Over already. Sure thing. Sure thing.
stay focused. Now's our chance. I'll give it my all. Huh. Victory. Doing my part. I have so... I'll cut through. next. Sure thing. Yep. Ready and willing. It was a good try. Think this through. Thanks for that. Thanks. Mm. 
a great help. The fight continues. Use caution. Is that all? I want to go home. Quite To you. As expected. I'm not setting a very good example. I will prevail. Ah! Well, how is that? One step at a time. <laughs> Even stronger than I look, yeah? Uh, that's life. Don't forget who you're dealing with. Does this place go? I wonder if it's around here somewhere. All we have here are your buddy's carcasses. Maybe you should turn around and go home.
ready and willing. Up to you. Never underestimate an outsider. I'll give it my all. I'll cut through. Face it, I'm better than you. Stay focused. Didn't give it your all. Please. 
least you're no coward. Think this through. Me? Chance to grow. Stronger yet. Expected as much. Doing my part. I 
I will prevail. Step forward. Someone's fired up. I must stay focused.
know your limits. Flower, you know. Looking good. Oh, nice. It's good to be king. Brawl, but I'm sick of looking at these fools. Sure thing.
sorry, but victory is mine. the golden deer for you.
Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. Never had a chance. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. Each battle, a chance to grow. That 
was tough. Hey, good job. Caution. Is that all? I've indulged too much. I take my leave for now. Honestly, what a nuisance. Boss, that's the last of them. Good. Finally. Thanks for all the help, everyone. I ain't going down without a fight. I'm taking you with me, punk. I will not allow it. Helfric, you're here. Well, shall we capture this fool? Serendipitous that you have come to our aid. I am relieved that I wasn't too late. I do hope my presence proved useful. No doubt about it. We needed the backup. Professor, I do believe this is the first time our paths have crossed, is it not? Of course, I have heard all about you from Her Grace, the Archbishop. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Elfric. The Church has granted me custodianship of Abyss. Pleasure is all mine. I am sure you have already been told about Abyss's unique situation. For varying reasons, all of the inhabitants here are unable to live a peaceful life on the surface. People like the Dagdens and Almyrans, who suffer undue persecution across Fodlin. The poor and the sick, who are forced into Abyss. Not to mention all the other unfortunate souls who ended up here. I believe it is my sacred duty to provide a place for those who have nowhere else to go. Right. And the poor and sick living in a sunless crypt helps them... how? Enough, Claude. Please, forgive my friend, Elfric. We would love to hear more. In all honesty, I understand his concern. I dearly wish I could provide a better life for my flock. But it would appear that Her Grace and most of the Church consider the existence of Abyss to be... Something of a nuisance. I'm afraid so. Those within the church who would see Abyss purged are swiftly growing in number. That's the church for you. They make a big deal out of helping the helpless. When it suits them. We can't just sit back and accept the way things are. We've got to fight the system. Sure, I'm here to hide from literally countless bounty hunters. But I'm not the only one in need. You're in a bad way too, Happy. You can't just let the church walk all over us. Too true. For the sake of all who dwell in Abyss, we must help dear Elfric to turn the tide. I am overwhelmed with gratitude. Your fervent support is all the reward I could ask for. As for you, Professor, I must beg a favor of you. The Ashen Wolves are a house in name alone. They are eager students with no teacher to guide them. If you could find it in your heart to take them under your wing, I would be most grateful. Naturally, your official duties take precedence, so you need only help out when your schedule allows. 
Wait a minute, Elfric. Where's this nonsense coming from? I second that question. We have no need of a professor when we have you. Dear Flock, I am a mere guardian. I can protect you, but I cannot enrich your minds. Though I call this gathering an academy house, I have long lamented that it isn't truly so. Now, I am blessed with the opportunity to correct this. The professor who stands before you has garnered a great deal of acclaim on the surface. A most trustworthy and esteemed teacher, to say the least. What's more, I happen to be acquainted with the father of this fine individual. I was born and raised in Garrick Mach, so I often had the opportunity to spend time with him. Uh, your mother as well. She was a cherished friend of mine. I was even present for their wedding. With parents like yours, I have no doubt that you possess the kindness and patience necessary to guide these students. But... Uh... It'll be fine. It's not like we're strangers anymore. Say, Alfric, don't you need to take care of those thieves? Ah, right you are. Please, excuse me. Oh, and one more thing, Professor. If ever you would like to hear more about your parents, I would be delighted to share my memories with you.